guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my 36 week pregnancy update. 36 weeks people, oh my goodness. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight in because it might be a little bit of a long video today because I did have two appointments that I had to go to. Um, so basically my symptoms this week again have been the fainting or feeling faint, feeling like I'm going to faint. Um, a new thing that has started to happen in the last week is that my fingers at night get extremely sore, painful and stiff. Or when I lie down, it seems to be, it's just kind of like across here and these knuckles. And then on this hand, it's the top, it's the top bone and the top knuckle and um, that gets sore. Um, so I do wake up a lot in the night with very stiff hands. Um, heartburn has stepped itself up it is kicking my ass <laughs> excuse my language um no matter what i do now it just doesn't seem to matter it's just it's just happening and no matter what i take no matter what i drink no matter what i do um heartburn is killing me um, another thing that has been happening is again i said the faint thing and um, but i have overheating a lot as well um, so that's not being great, which makes me, once I overheat, I do feel like I'm going to faint. Um, so yesterday, the, um, 25th, 24th of February, I had a midwife appointment. So I go to a midwife clinic and then there's also a consultant led clinic, um, at my, at my hospital. Um, so I went in, um, so I was 36, two days yesterday. Um, on Wednesday the 25th, 24th, and I'm going to look down at what, what was happening. So basically I parked, um, just kind of like side of the road parking outside the hospital. So I parked there and walked into the hospital. It is literally not far at all. Um, like, I don't know, I don't know distance, but literally takes about, from the time I leave my car to the time I'm sitting down waiting for my appointment, took like a minute so that's how close it is um, and by the time I got in there I felt horrible I felt like I was gonna faint and um, I felt sick I felt hot and um, so shortly after um, I got there I was calling for my appointment and um, she says how are you feeling today Karen and I said I don't feel good I feel sick and um, so the first thing she did was check my blood pressure so I have my notes I don't know if I ever told you that before but we get to bring our notes home with us um, our hospital file um, I don't know if that's a usual thing and um, so I'm just gonna plop them up here so I can kind of read them and um, so she took my blood pressure um, straight away when I went in and it was 135 over 90 so it was slightly high it was high and um, so she said I'm gonna take it two more times throughout um, the appointment to see if it lowers and um, so it did lower so the next time she took it was 120 over 78 and then the third time was 122 over 80. So it did lower, um, and she said that, that it's, it's fine now. Um, so it must have been just because I was faint. So I explained to her that in the past two weeks, the fainting has got a million times worse than it has, um, that I constantly feel dizzy. If I stand up to wash the dishes, I feel dizzy. If I walk from here to um, down the corridor I feel like I'm gonna get faint. I get I overheat a lot, I get blurry vision, um, and it's just getting a little bit out of control where I feel like I can't even leave the house. Um, I'm here mostly on my own, or always on my own because Robert's in work and I'm now off work myself because I my contract is finished. So like I live in the town centre and I feel like I can't walk anywhere and when I do I feel the effects of it I feel like I'm gonna get sick I feel extremely faint so I laid all this out to her and she said you know what tomorrow is the consultant clinic and I'm gonna send you there and um, because they'll be better able to make um, some choices or send me for further testing or whatever so while I was there anyway she um, check the baby's heart rate and it was 144 so that was all good and um, she said I'm measuring my stomach is measuring good and um, everything with the baby was adding up perfectly so my blood pressure when I first went was high but then it did come down with my two other um, 
testings. My urine had no protein in it. Um, and then she went over my previous bloods that I got taken the previous month. And she said that my hemoglobin level was 10.9, um, which is in the normal range, because the range is 9.8 to 14.3, and mine was 10.9. So she says that, make sure I keep taking my multivitamin and make sure that it has iron in it and to drink more fluid. So she made an appointment for me to come in today. So today is Thursday the 25th of February and I hate going to the consulting clinic because there's two doctors, today there was two doctors but usually there's only one doctor and you're sitting there waiting forever for this person. So my appointment was at half 10 and at half 11 I was called in for urine and blood pressure and my blood pressure was 124 over 78 so fine um, they, uh, so that was at half 11 and then a quarter to one so two hours 15 minutes after my appointment time I was called in to see the doctor and I, that's what I hate it. There's just so many people and it takes forever to see the doctor. Um, so I was calling to a lovely lady. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Um, so she was kind of asking me, oh, you're here yesterday. Why are you here? So again, I explained all about the fainting, the feeling faint. I also mentioned to her some other things. So I mentioned her to her about my hands being really stiff and sore. And she said that, you know, because it's later pregnancy, that like it could be swelling at the end of the day in my hands. Um, and I did notice they were a tiny bit swollen um, at night time. Um, I mentioned also to her, it's something that I forgot to mention um, before is that when I get out of the shower I get a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions um, so she says from the sound of everything that I've been telling her today about my um, my fainting episodes or my near fainting episodes it sounds like I um, it's like heat related um, so what she did say to me is that I need to make sure I'm taking fluid throughout the day and not just take like drink like a pint at a time of, of water to make sure that I'm like sipping throughout the day and make sure I take two to three liters a day and also with my food she said I need to eat little and often and um, which is something that I am not doing I kind of just stick um, near the end of pregnancy I just don't find I want to eat and I'm not as hungry um, but she said if I eat it little and often it might keep my blood sugars up she sent me for more bloods so she did a full blood count another full blood count and um, she also wanted me to get a U and T bloods done I have no idea what that is and then a thyroid function and then the final thing um, that she wanted me to do so she spoke to the other doctor that was in the clinic today and they said that maybe send me for an ECG um, just to make sure everything is okay there. So I went for an ECG while I was there and everything was fine with my ECG. Um, so it's just if the bloods come back, they will ring me if there's any ab abnormalities with my bloods. And basically she said, it just sounds like it's heat related. So make sure that I'm not doing anything that exerts myself and um, to stay cool. <laughs> so that's really it for my update. I have to go see my GP next week and then I'm back at the hospital for that stupid clinic that takes forever um, in two weeks time. So that is it guys. Let me know what you think of what the doctor has said. Does it sound to you like it is heat related or something a little bit more serious? Um, so I can't believe we only have like at this age three and a half more weeks until my due date um, it's getting awfully scary I'm not gonna lie I am a little bit scared of labor because it's so unknown and um, I don't know what the pain is gonna be like I don't know anything and um, so yeah so that's it guys thanks so much for watching if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you like it give it a big old thumbs up and I will be back with you soon bye